Hello, you're back with Beetle, back on Survivor IO. Today we're going to go into chapter 18, which is a vertical map, just following on from my previous video, which was the best weapons and what to avoid in square maps. This one is obviously going to focus on vertical, which is in chapter 18. Here is my loadout. I'm using a level 61 light chaser, which is epic. I've also got an epic bone pendant and an epic waist sensor. The other are just excellent, but thankfully I do have all the S tiers as well on that. And we're just going to jump straight into chapter 18, Sand Dunes, which is a vertical map and just sort of see what the best loadout is for for these types of maps first upgrade here i will get the light chaser we'll just get the chest here which is just a, a bit of gold there we go so i've chosen the, the light chaser weapon purposely on this map here i'll just get the type b drone with it being a, a vertical map the enemies can obviously only come from up and down so they are more grouped together than if it was a complete open chapter here i get the molotov as well so the benefit of using the light chaser in a map like this is obviously the enemies are more grouped together as they have sort of less space that they can come from so the light chaser has uh, sort of a, a really good pierce effect to its bullet so if i was using the, the kunai it would only be able to hit one enemy at, at a time here i'll just get the rpg so uh, I, I think the light chaser is going to be a better weapon to use uh, in, in the vertical stages as the, the pierce effect of the, the light chaser will do a lot more damage than if you were using the the revolver or the kunai for example i think if, if you don't have the light chaser unlocked then something that can do more sort of group area damage like the katana or baseball bat would probably be more beneficial in, in this type of map as well here we go just moving up to, to level six we'll get the light chaser again going quite strong there i think the weapons that i'm choosing are also going to be more sort of area damage focused so the rpg for example and the molotov are, are, are really good sort of uh, area damage weapons so to start with initially i, I would avoid just weapons that hit singular enemies so the revolver and the the shotgun probably out um in, in terms of i wouldn't recommend that guardian may be quite good in this he's probably not going to be best but you know what we'll actually get the oil bond here just so we get extra gold gain and we can evo the molotov as and when we get get there i don't think the guardian would be best on on this stage as it's a full 360 degree weapon i think it could be okay as it would still sort of do what it's intended to do in terms of sort of spinning them and pushing enemies back but i think that is more beneficial for an open stage but here we go we actually get five upgrades so two drones and all oil bond molotov and an rpg so actually really good upgrades on, on that uh, lucky train which is good i think trying to get both the drones is always going to be a play no matter what the map i think the destroyer is going to be really strong i uh, will get the ronin in here just just so we can get that evo upgrade force field possibly okay brick again is is going to be good I, I will get it don't really want the boomerang or lightning emitter ideally i'm trying to get the uh, the drone so we'll just get the roan in here so the brick weapon will probably be quite good as it sort of shoots the brick out forwards and then drops straight down so it will sort of constantly be doing damage it will probably be better on this type of map rather than an open map just because the, the path that the brick takes will always be hitting a, an enemy so i think that is going to be quite strong as well a lot of people also ask me how i've got the sort of equipment that i've got at this stage um which is relatively early on for the for the equipment that i do have i mean i, I don't really have a, a proper answer to that i'll just get the oil bond there again I'm, I'm not looking to, to get the laser launch trying to save up for that drone i obviously i haven't spent any money on, on the game I, I i just log in every day collect the rewards do the patrol earnings so I, I probably do that more than the average person obviously i do make youtube videos so i, I do try and keep uh, sort of a, as up to date as i can on, on the game but that is realistically all, all i've done and i would say take advantage of the events that they're generally the best way to actually get the equipment get some levels and get get your resources so you can level up etc it's more consistency over time um beats any anything else you could spend you know eight hours on a day playing the game or an hour a day for, for eight days and and that would be far more beneficial than, than just spending a lot of time on, on one day playing it so i think that's generally the, the best rule of thumb is just consistency over time beats anything else on, on this game i'll just get the magnet here as we are approaching the five minute boss i'll get the energy cube here i don't really want the soccer ball or the lightning emitter i know we don't actually have either of those upgrade weapons but the attack cooldown is always a, a good one to have here really struggling to, to find this last drill um I, i'd get the laser launch just to sort of show you what weapon to avoid even on this map but but yeah let, let's just get the kogan in just well get a few extra experience i'm trying to hold out for, for that black drone so we can get the destroyer hopefully and here we go boss assault i know the boss usually leaves a magnet so we'll get a magnet here even though we've just got one I, yeah i did, didn't really foresee that getting a, a level up but there we go this is where the, the kunai would be better obviously trying to kill a boss but um i, I think with the, the sort of loadout we've got the bosses should be easy enough ev even with the light chaser we'll just get on the, the lucky train here we get three upgrades which is always uh good usually it's just one and then we get the type b drone to level five uh energy cube and the molotov we are still waiting for for that other drone just so we can get the destroyer as and when we get there but getting really 
being lucky in terms of finding it so we'll just get the oil bond here I'm, i am still <laughs> holding out for that drone whether or not it comes up not too sure but we, we will do our best to tr try and get it and here i suppose you can see exactly why i've chosen the light chaser uh the all the sort of key blasts of the light chaser are doing all the damage here I don't really want either of those two new weapons so i'm just going to get the brick here upgraded to, to level two uh, and as i was saying you can sort of see exactly all the, the key blasts i'm just going to get the brick here that are doing all the sort of uh, pierce damage to all the enemies here i'll just get the kogan ninja troll i can't believe we haven't seen that other drone yet that's absolutely crazy but um you, you can so, sort of see why i think this is going to be better than the shotgun revolver or the kunai in these sort of waves where it's all really compact enemies are really close together i'll get the molotov here and the oil bond to level five still can't believe we haven't seen the black drone and then there it is <laughs> as i say that finally get that so once we get that to level five we should be able to, to get the destroyer and then we can look to, to maybe try and get the drill uh, we will see how lucky we get and then let's just get the light chaser to level four and we'll get the drone to level two we must have uh, had a lot of gems on the floor here as we we did pick up a magnet and then we'll, we'll get the brick to four light chaser to five we should be able to get the uh, evo upgrade of the light chaser when we do get there we'll just upgrade the drone uh, we'll pick up another magnet and hopefully this won't even be close to giving us another level up i suppose we did just get a magnet before that these scorpions are coming in thick and fast but thankfully they're, they're not really getting too far through our, all of our weapons well we'll get the brick here the high power bullet is always a, a really good one to have but i think i'll just continue upgrading my, my weapons as and when i can and there it is the eternal light indomitable the evo upgrade of the the light chaser obviously very strong pretty much doubles the the projectiles it uh, fires and we'll get the uh, molotov there zombies incoming hopefully the next level up we should even be able to evo upgrade the, the the molotov as well to the fuel barrel which is a, a very good weapon there it is indeed and next level up we'll get the type a drone that's sort of one level off being able to get the destroyer picked up a lot of gold gems there so that should be a level up or two and we'll just get the rpg here we go not too far off the 10 minute boss there is a what well, is classed as an elite and then just actually goes down really quickly there we'll get the rpg to, to level four we'll get on the chest and there is a magnet just after this chest as well and we only get one level up but it actually gives us the rpg i i think we should be able to get the rpg upgrade i'm not actually too sure if we have that but if not we'll look out for it but we finally do get the destroy as well so a weapon slot has opened back up um module mine and jorian and um, let me have a think what is going to be best there i think if i had the tech part on the jorian i would get that i think if i also had either the lightning or the molotov that weren't evo upgraded i'd get the module mine as i don't have either of those i'm going to get the ronin and we'll see if we can get a better weapon in our one of the the next upgrades again lightning emit emitter would be good but i think considering we can get the drill uh, i'm going to wait for that so i'll get the ronin again here we go boss assault uh, it should be easy enough but again it would be easier with with the kunai this is where this sort of build isn't ideal but hopefully if as long as you can survive it is only one boss there isn't two on the screen then it should be easy enough uh, and it was there we go got the lucky train but i don't think there's really much we can get here bit of an extra experience which will help we'll get the magnet although i don't think there's too many gems left on the floor there wasn't but we are very close to level 37 so i will just work my way up and the patience has paid off we get the drill shot which i think is probably going to be the best weapon to get the guardian may also be okay but i think the the drill shot generally in terms of damage is is near the top so i, I would always recommend the drill shot pretty much on, on any weapon whether it be vertical square or, or open i can see two magnets on the floor now so i'll just get this magnet as i've let a few gems build up should be wasn't actually quite a level up quite surprised at that a lot of gold on the side here so i'm actually gonna try and collect a few of these gold bits uh, and there is an elite cat running at me but we'll get his chest uh, and hopefully we won't be far off a, a level up after the, the lucky train cooldown will obviously help pretty much all of our weapons especially the, the light chaser here we go he fuel which is what i was actually waiting for so we can now get the evo of the rpg which hopefully uh, will be in our next level up so just let a few gems gather on the floor as these scorpions are trying to run out it's not really getting too far we'll just collect that magnet hopefully get a level up and there it is the shark mod gun uh, that is the rpg uh, evo weapon and we'll just try to upgrade the rest of our weapons now i think we've only got the drill shot and the brick that aren't actually um evo upgraded i think the brick is quite high but we do need the um, passive upgrade i think it's the hp to try and get the evo upgrade of that but we'll just get the drill there to, to level three and continue trying to, to level up the rest of our weapon just so i, I suppose we can do a bit of a, a damage comparison at, at the end obviously this video is sort of a, a showcase of what weapons to use on, on what specific stages so i think it's just important to highlight the uh, sort of compactness of all these enemies as you can see so 
So having that airy damage, having the pierce effect of the light chaser, I think is really uh, essential. I think I would be able to complete this with, with the kunai still, just because of uh, sort of how leveled up I am. But obviously, if you are struggling, then these types of, of videos would be really helpful. Little cat running at me, but he should go down quite quickly. Uh, and there he does, we'll get on the chest. I don't think there's actually too much more in terms of levels that I, I can get. I know that there is a few sort of passives still quite low level, but realistically, we're, we're relatively close to the end. We'll, we'll get the drill shot there to, to level four. Um, and yeah, we'll just continue to sort of showcase the area of effect of some of the, the, the weapons, just so you can sort of see exactly why I've chosen these weapons. Uh, and obviously at the end, we should be able to do a big damage comparison to sort of see what it is within the weapons that I've chosen that maybe aren't as strong as I, I think, uh, and which ones are the best as well. Finally, get the drill to level five as well. I think we still need the passive upgrade for that in order to get that Evo upgraded. So I'll just continue working my way through. Still collecting the, the gems nice and slowly, I suppose. Uh, not really in much danger. Here, I might as well get the Kogan and just scroll I, I suppose there's not really much else to get so I might as well get a bit more experience from the gems we're getting at least and we'll, we'll just keep moving up finally get a magnet and I think there'll be lots because I wasn't really moving too much down south and you can sort of see all the gems that are springing up here ideally none of them are actually going to be any use to us so we will refresh and we'll get the fitness guide just so we can get the brick evo upgrade there is the one ton iron always a very good evo upgrade here we will get the energy cube and the ronin and another level we'll get the he fuel as well uh, and that is going to be it so I, I think the one ton iron is, is obviously going to be very strong Strong, but uh, because it is a 360 degree weapon it probably is better for open stages but I, I would still probably recommend it for this and we will see in the damage comparison at the end I, I would think that the uh, brick, brick and the, the one iron ton are going to be really close to the top still as well and there it is the last boss has died so the only thing to note is that the drill was the only weapon that wasn't evo upgraded that is the one we got towards the end after the drones had merged to the destroyer and let's just have a look at the damage comparison now so the eternal light 28% shack morgan 21% one ton iron 27% and the drill shot still at 13% so the destroyer at 5% and the fuel barrel at 6 I suppose that has quite surprised me that the destroyer is last but I would just say that that is probably because it's the, the most short range weapon out of those with the fuel barrel probably being the second shortest range and that those four weapons are probably the strongest weapons are, and they are doing the, the majority of, of the damage so perhaps the destroyer may not be needed but I suppose this also depends on how leveled up you are compared to the stage you're on because obviously if the stage was harder enemies would get closer to me and the destroyer would do more damage but realistically I think this is a very strong build for, for these types of vertical maps these do the best damage compared to other sort of single shot items and I would imagine if I had the kunai shotgun or the revolver that the total damage of that weapon would be a lot less than what the light chaser is here at 28% but hope this has been helpful that is chapter 18 complete uh, and just a bit of a showcase of the sort of ideas of what weapons to use and what to avoid on those maps if you have got this far really do appreciate it please do like and subscribe as I said I'm on my journey to 1000 subscribers so I can get on the YouTube partner program so thank you for that and, and I'll catch you all in the next one cheers